Hey everyone, this is Kelly. This is video two of our series on leverage. In the previous video, we explored why an online business is a better option rather than uh, investing in the stock market or even in property. We also explored how simple it is to start up an online business. Now, like any new business or venture, you're going to have to learn new skills. And the most vital skills that you can learn are marketing skills. This means being able to earn the respect of your customers, being able to learn how to relate to them so that they can get to know, like, and trust you. Because that's the most important thing when people are making a buying decision. So marketing skills are crucial to your online success. And they can be learned as easily as driving a car or riding a bike. Cast your mind back to when you were little and you learned how to ride a bike for the very first time. Or you sat behind the wheel of a car for your very first drive. It seems so overwhelming, crazy and complicated, trying to coordinate everything. It, when you saw cars driving towards you in the other direction, it felt like they were hurling towards you, which was scary. But the more you did it, the more natural it became, and then it became second nature. From my experience, Learning online marketing is exactly the same as learning how to drive a car. I was confused and overwhelmed for starters, but the more I did it, the easier it became, and I had a lot of aha moments along the way. Here's why learning how to market is so important. Once you have mastered the skills of selling your product in one market, you then use the exact same skills to sell your product in any other market that you choose. So the better that you become at marketing, the more prospective customers you will have, the more leads you will generate, and then the more sales you are likely to make. And the good news is that you can learn how to market in your spare time. So it's kind of like having insurance for your job until you become more proficient at it. So the steps are master the art of online marketing, gradually build up your online income, and then quit your job. Like insurance, you can gain the skills and get the knowledge that you need before quitting your job. Think about for a moment what it's going to be like when you get to tell people that you're done with your nine to five job. When you learn the essential skills this way, you are setting yourself up for a very powerful position. You'll start earning serious money because you've done the, the necessary groundwork and the rewards will be there for the taking. But we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. So let's talk about how easy it is to be an entrepreneur. According to Wikipedia, an entrepreneur is a person who has a position of a new enterprise, venture, or idea, and accepts full responsibility for the outcome. So that gives us quite a wide scope for anyone who's wanting to leave their paid employment and start a venture on the internet. And anyone can be a, a entrepreneur. Personally, I was not very entrepreneurial when I was grinding away at my, at my job. But now I am, I have changed. Entrepreneurialism is a quality that can easily be adopted. Today, there are more chances to start an online business than ever before. People are starting to realize that you can make legitimate money from your laptop, from the comfort of your own home. Also, take note of what one of the most well-known entrepreneurs in the UK had to say at a National Achievers Congress in July 2011, Richard Branson. He publicly stated that Britain was behind the rest of the world when it came to leveraging the internet and entrepreneurship. The US economy, on the other hand, is so huge that the most dominant currency in world trade is US dollars. So too is the currency of the internet. Therefore, any reference in this series to uh, dollar values will be in US, uh, US currency. Um, hopefully that's not too confusing. It's just the way of the online world. For a lot of people, the internet has allowed them to indulge in their passions. If you work on something that you're passionate about, work becomes fun and making money becomes easy. We used to take jobs simply to pay the bills. 
Now you can pick a topic that you're passionate about and make money working from home. Your greatest asset is your passion, which is a combination of the skills and knowledge that you already have locked in your head. Plus you have your personal story as well. So leveraging the internet can happen in a variety of ways. You can reach a wider customer base because you can sell products to anyone, anywhere, anytime. Larger companies can have multiple different teams of outsourcers working for them from around the world in different time zones, working 24 seven around the clock. And so can you as a small business, you can have outsourcers working for you from all over the world. And you can talk to anyone anywhere with Skype. This means that you can communicate with your customers for zero cost. Also, anyone can become famous on YouTube, no matter how crazy you are. Actually, probably more crazier the better. This means that you can communicate with your prospective customers. Also, the internet is tidying itself up. It is being watched by government watchdog agencies. This means that it is safer and more trustworthy for the consumer. These government bodies, they promote consumer protection and prevention of anything that they perceive to be harmful. Another power of leveraging the internet is the minimal investment required. So maybe one of the biggest advantages of leveraging the internet as an entrepreneur is the small amount of startup capital required to set up an online business, especially in comparison to the large amount of startup capital that is required for an offline or brick and mortar business. Now, the bare essentials for starting an online business are creating a website, which costs as little as $50, and you'll need a mailing list or database. And software is usually free for the first month and then usually costs between 20 to $30 per month thereafter. So the costs are really minimal. And you'll have no product costs if you sell information products. In saying this, there is no such thing as a free lunch. So to say that you only need a small amount of investment is not entirely true because there is a trade-off. The less money that you invest, the more time you will need to invest and the more patience that you will need. On the other hand, the more money you invest, the less time is needed. We'll discuss this further in the next video.